Good morning, modern steaders. Nice, brisk 45 degrees out this morning. I've been reading in the comments a lot of y'all are still like 90s and 100 degree weather right now. Here we are planning on fall and getting ready for winter. <laughs> I wish our falls were a little bit longer. A lot of projects I still want to get done. Good morning. You're up bright and early this morning. Let's go over here. There's still some grass. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not, but look at them red clouds and then more over here. Look at that. What's the old saying? Red in the morning, sailors take warning. <laughs> Hope we're not getting a storm this morning, guys. Good morning, boys. Chewing your cud. Look at you, Caleb. Just chillaxing. Is Zeke keeping you warm? Huh? You're silly. Good morning. The new hay feeders are working nice. There's barely any waste. We made a video the other day upgrading our hay feeders that we built. It's going to save us hundreds of dollars a year in wasted hay. I'll put a link to that video right here. Changing weather, I keep thinking about insulating the workshop, barn, and lighting out here. We live in northern New Hampshire, we can get winter for about six months out of the year. So I'm trying to figure out how to make this building, or what we, not just this building, what we do on the homestead so we can do it throughout the year and make it comfortable for us and the animals. So right now, it's thinking about lighting out here and insulating. The workshops we can use the workshop and we can do projects in the workshop in the winter time hoping within a month or so we can have the workshop insulated that's the goal last winter we had snow on the ground for six months i'm not kidding i'll put a link to some of our winter videos last year right here and it got to be a long winter not having a workshop or anything like that to do projects in we were always working in the basement working outside just trying to make stuff work. So this year it's planning ahead. Thank you, Wilbo. Thank you, girl. You done? Ready to get out of the milking stand? Ready to go see your babies? Come on. Go for it. They're crying for you. Come. Where's Magnolia? There's little magnolia. Come on, little P. Were you stuck in the hay feeder again this morning? You know, you're not supposed to jump in the hay feeder. The goats are already starting to put on their winter coat. They're getting fuzzy and chubby. This is the meat bird's last feeding. We don't feed them for 12 hours before we harvest them. We want to make sure that their gizzards are all cleaned out. Morning, ladies. Where's Moose hiding? Morning, Moose. Your feathers are getting better. The girls aren't picking on you as much. No morning crow? Wow. A few of our screws. Tape measures right here. All right, let's figure out where we can set a screw to rest that trim on. So this is exactly eight inches. So exactly eight inches will be here. 
All right, you want to come down this end? We're going to set this one. Can you reach or do you think you need the ladder? He can't reach it. You want to get up on the stage and with me? No. No. How quick that is? What? So it is. It needs to go flip, right? Nope. It needs to go the way it is. You're right. We got to flip it like that. Let me get a screw started on my end. You were right. I was wrong. Did you hear it? I didn't. Say it again. You were right. I was wrong. I hope we have enough room between the wall and the staging. We, I don't think we're going to. There we go. Alright, we gotta come towards me. Ouch. Alright, now we gotta go back to you. I want it flush with the strap and Can you come up a little bit? This way? Yep. I think after you put that in I can't. Okay. There you go. A little more. There you go. Alright, come back down. Perfect. That's perfect, right there. I said I tried. It did a good job. All right, I just get the short little one up front, and then we're gonna trim out, put the first piece of trim on the back and the first piece on the front, and then we can get the tin on. I'll let you get up on the roof, put the tin on, screw it down. I gotta go somewhere. You got. You can work the peak. No. Come on. You know you want to. <sighs> Oh yeah. Oh my god. It's like you don't even try. <laughs> it's not funny. It is because I remember when I used couldn't do different stuff and I'd see my dad or somebody doing it, I'd get all frustrated and mad and be like, why can't I do it? Yeah, well I was just over here like struggling and then you come over <laughs> like you didn't even touch it. It just, Whatever. it comes with time. We'll wait to finish siding it because it's supposed to rain, I think tomorrow, the next day. So let's try to get the roof on today. So that way at least it'll stop drying out. We can stop putting firewood in whenever. And then afterwards we'll finish siding it and then trim it out. All right, so you want to come down this end for a minute, like right where that double mm -hmm. is. And I want this one to fall just so it's touching the second one on the end. It's touching like all the way to the edge? Or? Just flush. So, so right hold on. Here. So it's just touching right here. All right here. Yep. And then I'm going to mark this side and cut it. All right, let's take it down. All right, you have to come down a smidge. I'll stop my end and then we'll work it to you. All right, bring it up. Up, 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 up. Perfect. What's that? Down. Right there is good.
Are you flush on your end? Yeah. All right, this is gonna make a nice piece of trim. It's a nice clear two by eight. I like it. Once we get this all done, it'll be easy for you to get up there and do the tin roof. <laughs> I'm not getting up there, dude. This is heavy, just FYI. Where is it going? We gotta go here, slide it to you, slide it to you, to you, to you. Now we need to take the clamps back off. Yeah, I can't do it. Gonna be weight on you. Oh. Ah. You want me to hold this hand that? I don't think so. All right, set it down on top of your staging. Perfect. You need the saw. I didn't go down below, I think, to cut it. Got it? I think the battery's getting weak. Yeah, one bar. That's a pretty thick cut and long cut. Just gotta get the uh, hand saw and trim it out, and I'll replace the battery. Watch your toes. Batteries dying too. So we gotta go to you quite a bit. Got a pills everywhere. This one's pretty light. That's better. I'm 
Come on. Now we can put the metal on the roof. Let's grab our little pieces of tin. Uh, get the layout figured out. Uh. Biggest amount of time at first. Figuring it all out. So something like that. We're gonna have another two inches here, and we're gonna have another two inches here. So two and a half. I like that. Two and a half. Two and a half. Three. Mark it here. Mark it here. Okay, so we don't need to drill here because the ridge cap is going to go on after. So we want to go nine inches and 22 and a half. Do you remember that? What did I say? Nine and 22? This first sheet, I don't want to drill that side. Our viewers sent up quarter inch, quarter inch. Let's see. Let's see how good they work. Perfect size. This way, I won't have to bend down as much and reach. Thank you. All right. And bring me another one. I'll just set a couple of them up. Thank you. Bring it down a smidge right there. Doing good. Staying right on track. Perfect. Lamp. That, what? 
Yes. These are working really good, Rob. Thanks for sending them up. What's the brand out of Malco? They're working nice. It'll go pretty quick, not as quick, but once we get it all figured out and get the screws holes drilled in, it'll go pretty quick. We stayed nice and square. We got nine inches, nine inches. That's good. That's what we want to happen. Now we need to figure out the long back roof sheets. That one's dirty. It'll come off with the rain. All right, so we're gonna have two inches. So come bring down to you, to you, to you. So somewhere around there. And then. We are two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Get the pad. It's right there. All right, this is gonna come to me. half so that's fine no that's not a measurement I need to give you that's just something we got to check all right so now we can figure out from the top let's go 31 51 and a half 71 nah 72 and a half 92 92 111 and a half and 132 So
how noisy the road work is today, guys. They're out there, I think, doing culverts or something. Going to go across the road. It's always fun. Right there, I like it. Alright. Set this one in place. Oh, that sun is so fierce on the old eyeballs right now. sheets up because we can't work it across. I need the ladder I guess. be in the shade. This is kind of nice. The sheet's covered in sawdust. Now we need it to rain. Gina had to bring Canna to the vet. He's got like a golf ball sized lump on his jaw. We're not sure what it is. There we go.
Nice. Feels like it's gonna rain out. Yeah. I hope not. If it does, at least we got the roof on. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like a drive-through window. Yeah. I gotta finish siding it. But I wanted to get the roof on because it's supposed to rain. I'll take some organic pig grain. Yes. Come right on up. That'd be $5, please. Five dollars? That's some expensive pig grain. It's organic. Mmm, yummy. I'm just gonna make Put it right on top of the apples. Yes. Maybe it'll make them eat more apples. You piggos all appled out or what? Well, it looks like pork just ate one. We surprised you guys. You didn't know we were coming from that way. Hello, Blossom. Hello, Willow. There you go. I'm loving the new feeder. I'm loving the new feeder because you weigh so much less hay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Blossom's getting it out of the top right there. What are you thinking? How many? 15, 16, 16. 2, 4, 6, it's going to be a low day today, yeah. 8, 10, 12. Yeah, we still got a dozen. Yeah. That's a good number. Yeah. Boy, does it feel good having most of the tin roof put on the firewood shed. We're so close to being able to stack our firewood, get it undercover, and let it dry out. Uh, winter's going to be here before we know it. Tanner went to the vet, and the vet thinks it's a plugged, I think not tear duct, or tear duct, something like that in his neck. So he's on antibiotics. As long as that swelling goes down within 10 days, we'll be all set. If it doesn't go down, they think he's going to need surgery. So we're praying that the antibiotics work for him. It doesn't seem, to, it's not bothering him. He's a, if anything hurts him, he lets us know. He's very talkative. So it's not bothering him. So we think it's just going to infection and it'll go away. We'll keep you guys updated on that. Thanks for coming on along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.